Hello guys, uh, in this video I will be discussing uh, the things about the question and answers of interviews about IDS and IPS, intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system. So basically it's an uh, a network security uh, solution it's a very important network security uh, solution just like your firewall okay its placement just comes after firewall that is it is placed in between a firewall and a router this is a like common placement uh, there is like no definite position where the ids and ips has been placed but the common place where uh, in the network uh, this particular ips and ids will be placed is between a firewall and a router so what is its function so similarly like uh, what firewall does uh, this ids and ips also filters out the traffic to detect any kind of intrusion exploitation or virus kind of thing so there will be two things ids and ips ids stands for intrusion detection system whereas ips stand for intrusion prevention system as the name itself suggests intrusion detection system is to detect the what threats the viruses, the malware or any malicious content in the traffic and intrusion prevention system not only detects the malicious thing in the traffic but also stops it or terminates it or aborts it or drop the packet okay when we speak in terms of network no so it will drop the packet which contain the malicious contain so basic question this is a definite question in any information security or cyber security interviews or uh, SOC analyst uh, interview for L1 or for fresher they will definitely ask you uh, the things about firewall and IDS and IPS okay so intrusion detection uh, is a process of monitoring your network traffic and analyzing it for signs of possible intrusions such as exploit attempts and incidents that may be imminent threats to your network. For its part, intrusion prevention is a process of performing intrusion detection and then stopping the detected incidents, typically done by dropping packets or terminating sessions. These security measures are available as intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system which are a part of network security measures taken to detect and stop potential incidents and are included functionality within next generation firewall. So why this is? There will be no separate devices like IDS, IPS, uh, a gateway uh, and a firewall. In the next generation firewalls, again, uh, now they are available. Okay, Companies are uh, like deploying them in their network. The next generation firewalls, they act as switch, they act as gateway, they act as firewalls and they also act as IPS and IDS and even I have heard like uh, and firewall uh, will be also function uh, similar to or oh, something okay like router okay so I may be wrong in this point uh, firewall can also function as a router okay so this is a basic I think you have understood the basic functionality or the basic application of IDS and IPS very important concept in an interview definitely you're going to face a uh, question so what are the benefits of having IDS and IPS as the definition itself like you can like uh, uh, create your own answer for this uh, by the facts that we have so far studied. IDS and IPS monitors all the traffic on the network to identify any known malicious behavior. One of the ways in which an attacker will try to compromise a network is by exploiting a vulnerability within a device or within software. IDS or IPS identifies those exploit attempts and blocks them before they successfully compromise any endpoints within the network. IDS and IPS are necessary security technologies both at the network edge and within the data center precisely because they can stop attackers while they are gathering information about your network. So how does the IDS work? So there are three IDS detection methodologies are uh, typically used to detect incidents. One is like signature based detection. This is similar to your antivirus. So how does you can like you may also get the question like how does an antivirus detect any kind of virus or a malware or any malicious code. Okay. So basically the database is a signature database is an essential thing. Any antivirus if it doesn't have any uh, database signature database of uh, like malware virus or any kind of malicious content it will be unable to detect that malicious content. 
so an updated database of malicious content like virus or malware and anything uh, like trojan or anything like that so it is very essential for uh, uh, antivirus to have that signature database similarly an ideas also to detect any malicious codes the ideas also requires a signature based detection uh, so in this methodology the signature based detection compares uh, signatures against observed events to identify possible incidents so this is the simplest detection method because it compares only the current unit of activity such as a packet or a log entry to a list of signatures using string comparison operation okay so you have done a program if you are from a computer science uh, background you have done uh, in your c language the string comparison uh, program okay so next method is anomaly based detection anomaly based detection compares definition of what is considered normal activity with observed events in order to identify significant deviation this detection method can be very effective at spotting pro previous unknown threats so anomaly based is like somewhat like ddos attack where uh, the, the multiple n number of requests comes to a server okay so that kind of situation uh, may be uh, like an anomaly that can be detected by an ids okay so third methodology is stateful protocol analysis so stateful protocol analysis uh, compares predetermined profiles of generally accepted definition for benign protocol activity for each protocol state against observed event in order to identify deviation so these are the three methodologies that are basically used in ideas if you remember one also it is more than enough okay so just remember the signature based uh, methodology for ideas uh, it will be very easy see uh, an antivirus also functions in the same way and ideas also functions in the uh, same way ideas is installed on the network whereas an antivirus will be installed on an endpoint okay so here i have provided a diagram of uh, like how exactly uh, the intrusion uh, detection system happens okay so the signature based detection anomaly based detection and the host intrusion detection and network intrusion detection okay so these uh, uh, th this example of uh, this particular diagram explains you the whole organization of an ids next we have intrusion prevention system as i said you before uh, like where exactly it is it is in place this is a definite question basically like many of the frequently asked questions i have gone through for l1 in soc analyst or for information security engineer or uh, like uh, or cyber security analyst so they will ask you about ips and where exactly is the placement of ips inside a network okay so it's between a router and a firewall so here in this diagram you can see how a firewall protects a network and after firewall you place an intrusion prevention system and after that you routes your traffic your network traffic to the internet okay so this diagram you have to remember uh, you may like if you are physically attending an interview you have to draw it and show them so that they will get in confident over you like you exactly know what is a network and you exactly know what networking components are there okay and what are the network security measures or technologies are there so that you can explain with a diagram which will be very impressive to the interviewer is a firewall an ids or ips as i said you before next generation firewalls do function like ids and ips okay yes true next generation firewalls contain ids and ips functionality however not all the firewalls are next generation firewalls also a firewall blocks and filters network traffic while ids and ips detect and alert or block and exploit attempt depending on configuration ids and ips act on traffic after the firewall filters the traffic according to configured policy how are ids and ips implemented an intrusion detection system is responsible for identifying attacks and techniques and it is often deployed out of bound in the listen only mode so that it can analyze all traffic and generate intrusion events from suspect or malicious traffic an intrusion prevention system is deployed in the path of the traffic so that all the traffic must pass through the appliance to continue to its destination upon detection of the malicious traffic the ips breaks the connection and drops the session or traffic so there will be no way for attacker to attack can an ips block traffic yes an ips constantly monitors traffic for known exploits to protect the network the ips then compares the traffic against existing signatures if a match occurs the ips will take one of these three actions very important thing remember these three points detect and log the traffic detect and block the traffic 
detect log and block the traffic okay so if it is uh, some known malware that doesn't affect okay so you just detect it and log the traffic that's enough but if it is a trojan or if it is a ransomware you have to detect it and block it suddenly okay so next is detect log and block so this is very important because uh, if you detect and block it uh, then the job will be done but you cannot study it for future attacks so that's why what, what what is the need is you have to log it you have to study its signature or its hash value so that you can use it in future like if you future some kind of attack occurs you can take action okay that is most important thing so what can what can an ids detect an ids detect threats based on patterns of known exploits malicious behaviors and attack techniques and effective ideas also detects evasive techniques attackers use to hide exploits such as remote procedure call fragmentation html padding and other types of tcp ip manipulation can an ips prevent ddos attack very important question an ips can prevent certain types of ddos attack that is distributed denial of service attacks for example application denial of service app dos attacks are one of the threat categories that ips functionality can identify and protect against however volumetric ddos uh, threat us th volumetric ddos threats require a dedicated solution like some you know, juniper scorero ddos offering okay so there will be some different uh, application that this will be like more advanced question that can be asked for more like l3 or l2 even or for like manager level thing what ids and ips technology solutions what ids and ips technologies solutions and product does juniper offers okay so the, you will be asked like some some product based companies like if you go for an interview here i have just given an example of an company of juniper uh, which is known for uh, like uh, producing ips ids solution or network security solution so if you go for some kind of xyz company or uh, some juniper as i have taken example so juniper uh, offers both ids and ips solution you have to know like whenever you go to some interview to some company like in my previous videos i have told you like study about the company what are the products of the company what are the services of the company who are all the clients of the company what is its turnover where exactly it stands what are we its future plans okay so if you know all those things like if you do homework of all those things that will be very impressive in an interview so here juniper offers both ids and ips solutions via a single software subscription deployed on any of the juniper's next generation firewall products and services physical virtual and containerized srx firewalls or a service within juniper secure edge you may not know these kind of terminologies even like you can just tell like juniper is known for manufacturing some world class solution with respect to network security uh, like you can like tell the answer in your uh, so uh, like in your own words uh, like you have completely understood what juniper what a, what a network security company uh, manufactures or produces or gives the service or gives the like uh, what uh, services it offers and how are their services different from others so this will, this will be very very impressive okay so this is all about the things that i have planned to provide you about ips and ids as it is a very important concept in any of the cyber security related uh, interviews so that's why not only this you can like i if you require please comment in the comment section i will prepare uh, some more videos on like firewalls uh, switches gateways ips ids okay so if you uh, require i will uh, prepare it okay so so far so good uh, so this is all about ips and ids hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button do share this video among your friends uh, thanks for watching take care bye bye